Today, we're going to take a look at some body cam footage from the rise of the Moors encounter with state police that occurred a couple of months ago. I didn't know this body cam footage was out there. I want to talk a little bit more about this incident and a couple more facts that have come to light that I have not covered yet here on the Common Sense Academy Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I'm Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Here we cover sovereign citizens. I comment on them. We laugh at them. We learn about them. And we also issue warnings because they are dangerous. Before we dig into this content in this video, we're going to watch that body cam video. Everybody raise your cup, your glass in the air. Drink with me. It tastes better when we sip together. The same time sip. This is the reason that many of you come here, not to see my actual content, just to have a simple drink with me. I like coffee, you may like something harder. Cheers. Okay, well, this is not my favorite format. I think, uh, and, and you know, I love the daily news, but man, their website is glitchy and filled with ads. Look at all this stuff up here. Rise of the Moors Militia member is heard on his own body cam recording ordering a sniper to take his position as Massachusetts State Police surrounded them on their way to Maine for training. Now, this article is from September 29th, 2021. We'll run through the bullet points. Three members of Rise of the Moors Militia were arraigned on weapons charges in Massachusetts Tuesday. This was a couple of months ago. Prosecutor read transcript of a body camera recording on which one militia member told another, you're a sniper, so go to the front of the van. That is something that we did not know previously. Uh, I tried to look for that actual body cam recording. I couldn't find it. One of the 11 suspects was quoted as telling Massachusetts State Police Trooper, things would we be different if we could call reinforcements. What are you guys, what are these guys thinking? They want to go to war with the United States? Defendants repeatedly interrupted proceedings, arguing state authorities had no jurisdiction over them. We already knew that. Anybody who watched those proceedings in court saw them pull the typical Moorish sovereign citizen stuff. Rise of the Moors members believe they're independent from federal and state governments because they are descendants of, of sovereign Moroccan nation. Also a fact we already knew. 10 men and a 17-year-old boy, poor 17-year-old, obviously um, he's a little naive getting caught up in this, dressed in fatigues and body armor, were arrested during standoff with state police in Wakefield, Massachusetts on July 3rd. Alleged leader of the group claimed they were traveling from Rhode Island to Maine for training, but insisted their journey was peaceful. I will say that the the, the uh, interaction did end peacefully. So let's take a look at this body cam video that I had not yet seen for Rise of the Moors. None of you guys have a license on you? No. Who's driving? Uh, he's in the car right now. Okay. Does he have a license? Uh, no. He didn't have a license. No, with him? No. Okay. So do you have any forms of identification on him? No, we don't. Okay. So, you said you're a militia from Maine? Rhode Island, but we're going to Maine. Rhode Island. Okay. And, um... I can leave you my name and contact information. If that's yeah, that's fine. fine. All right. I'll write it down. Hey, uh, can y'all hear me? So, let's see, um... What do you guys... What, what's your guys' big plans? Uh, so, I have private, private land in Maine. So, we're going to do some, some training up there. You have what, Maine? Private land. Yep. 
receive. Okay. I'm just gonna go down the line here, okay? Oh, this one. Uh, you don't need yeah, to they're clean anything, do you? So, I mean, so, whatever he wants to give me, that's fine. Uh, you, don't, you don't have to give him anything. Yeah, you actually don't. I mean, you guys aren't driving a car or anything like that. No, I, I just um, want to make sure that we can continue going towards where we're going. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out the situation now. Yeah, I'm no, on I'm the highway. I'm I'm so you guys, are, what, you guys got to have 15 to? Yeah. Okay. I Is the good. guy driving the car still up there? Uh, yeah, he's in the car. You want to go talk to him? All right. You guys get two vehicles in? Yeah. If you don't mind, can you just stand here? Yeah, well, I don't I want, want you to make free. sure. I want to make sure you're safe. I'm, I'm fine. I was in okay. a right. car. No, that's fine. So I'm still a little bit confused about how that interaction went from something that seemed to be fairly peaceful into an armed standoff. Now, I'm not that confused because we saw all the Rise of the Moors standing there in their BDU's battle dress uniform, armed with weapons, loaded clips. The police are there, but that was a very civil transaction that was occurring and it obviously went downhill. Um, the big news to, for me out of this is that one of the suspects said things would be different if they would call reinforcements and they also could be heard talking about taking a sniper position. So maybe one of those two comments turned the police into taking a more aggressive posture. Now, one other thing that I discovered about the uh, Rise of the Moors, which I didn't know before, and uh, I'm not going to play this video, though, of course... Um, I will link to it. The problem is that the news always, they always claim it and end up demonetizing. But police used a sonic blast to end the rise of the Moore standoff. That's also some news to me. Um, and what I gathered from the article and the news uh, clip that you can click and watch in the description below is this sonic blast sounds like basically like an alarm. So they, they set this alarm going off and the the news seemed to indicate that the alarm would it, that this would automatically disable people. I 
I don't know if that's true. I mean, it would have to be pretty loud to disable. And if it's that loud, it would also affect the police officers. But then again, the police officers are trained. They're the ones using it in an offensive format. So you blast this loud sonic blast. This noise is that's what it sounds like an alarm. And then you disperse and you capture these individuals. That sounds very plausible, but it's an interesting sort of um, non-lethal, uh, lower risk uh, when it when compared to firearms and other lethal weapons form of weaponry that can be used to defuse situations like this. Um, this Rise of the Moors story is just endlessly interesting and also sad in a lot of ways that there are individuals in the country who hold these beliefs which can, can be rather dangerous. Um, I hope that you, you may have already had this news. I hope some of it is new to you and interesting. We get to watch some of the body cam, the Rise of the Moors. They were threatening to use snipers. Um, also call in reinforcements and police ultimately used a sonic weapon to disarm them. Let's hope that these incidents don't occur in the future here in the Common Sense Academy. We expose sovereign citizens and their nonsense um, in order to educate and disarm. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I'm Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. Consider reading my book, which is available on Amazon below. If you, this freaking computer I bought interrupts me with phone calls, consider reading my, buying my book. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Bye-bye.